definitely sprayed her in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Is this how you handle demonstrations? Did you mom? Okay. This way. I'm not resisting. Because Emily didn't want to get out of the tree. You know what? You want to protest? God, you should protest. You have a right to. You can't obstruct the sidewalk. You can't be on private property. You can't obstruct the roadway. And you can't use profanities. Those are the rules. You cannot use profanity in a public place. So you're saying, so, so, so if your officers sweared at, I'm not saying they did this, let's say they sweared at people, they, they, that's an arrestable defense for your officers? Disorderly conduct. For your officers. It, 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 it goes both ways? The law applies to everyone. Wow. Okay. Because I was actually sworn at when I was in jail. This, this, in a public place. Oh, so if it's in private, in they can swear. In a public place, oh, using wow. profanity, if it causes public alarm or inconvenience, okay, or offends someone other than the police. Now, we got firemen there, I got small children on the sidewalk, I got bystanders. That qualifies, okay, number one. And number two, my officers do not have to tolerate being treated like that. Okay, at that point, you're creating a civil disturbance. You're drawing more attention. You're going to draw more crowds while we're still trying to deal with the first two ladies who weren't complying with our orders. You're creating a risk to public welfare. Okay? I swear. Because of all the things I just explained. Okay? And that's the way it works. You want to protest? Fine. You get, a, you get a permit. We actually, when people have protests and you have parades, I've worked it. We stop traffic for you. You're going to march. You get to an intersection. We stop traffic so you can cross the intersection. We do them all the time. I've worked lots of anti-war protests, okay? But you got to follow the rules. You can't put people in danger, and you can't be using profanity and causing disturbances like that, okay? I mean, I mean, I mean what, what I observed was, was that people were personally offended and people came, they seemed pretty emotional about it, and then they came, and then 
they arrested him because they seemed personally offended. Um, and I tried to explain, and, and they said, you know, I, you know, like, I mean, so that's, that seemed like what, what happened. Um, it didn't seem like anybody was actually being disturbed. I guess it's, 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 it's um. And there's no intersection between First Amendment rights and public swearing? I mean, you're not it's, insured it's, the right to swear. You public. have the right to free speech until it infringes. Just, just like you can't yell fire in a crowded movie theater. But swearing, you have a right to free speech, but you can't yell fire in a crowded movie theater. Right, but okay. swearing doesn't put anyone in imminent danger. I mean, I don't think anyone was ever trampled well, because I someone swore. I don't write the law. I'm telling you what the law says. The law in New York State says using profanity in a public place is a violation of disorderly conduct. Okay. Okay? It's been upheld in the courts. It's an arrestable offense. Using profanity but I saw you arrest um, someone who was asking why people were getting arrested, and then he was arrested for asking the question, and he's working with an independent media outlet. Can you comment on why he was arrested? That I can't. We have three people in custody for disorderly conduct, two for trespass, one for resisting arrest. I don't know which individual in 